This video, I'm going to show you the revision technique, which is the most powerful technique I have found for manifesting while I sleep. I'm going to share with you exactly how you can use it, and I'm also going to show you a meditation you can use that will transform your life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the power of you could say like a hidden technique for manifestation or the law of attraction that is called revision, the revision technique. And this is something that is meant to do as you are falling asleep at night. Some of you may have heard me talk about these techniques when it comes to going to bed at night and why that's so powerful for reprogramming the subconscious mind. Well, this technique does that, but it also wires in a new level of identity. So this is something I've found to be extraordinarily powerful and I'll show you the basis of it. I'll also show you the different steps that are involved. It's actually quite simple, but when you do this, it allows you to go beyond that, which you've been thinking, feeling, and doing. When you start to do this, you start to see yourself in a completely new way. You start to literally rewrite the way that you view yourself, the things that have happened in the past, and it creates a new pattern in the present. So imagine that you went to work today and you had somebody that uh, said something mean to you and you reacted harshly and then that kind of caused a downward spiral Well, then things happened and uh, it wasn't the most positive day. Well, what happens is because that momentum is going, when you go to a bed at night, a lot of times we're subconsciously reviewing our day as we're falling asleep. What happens is that wires into our subconscious mind and we continue a momentum on that when we wake up in the morning, even if it's at subconscious levels. Now, what happens when we go beyond that as we're falling asleep at night and we were to revise that? Now, imagine instead of that, you review some of those things that happened and you then rewrite it the way that you would have wanted to see it. Well, what happens is as you start to do that and as you start to feel into it, your mind will not know the difference between what was the past day that happened to what actually happened. Now, the cool thing about this is then you start to develop a new momentum. You start to reprogram your subconscious mind. And then what happens is as you go into the next day, you carry with you a new past. You see, this is extraordinarily powerful. And if you do this enough, I was talking to one of my buddies recently and he was telling me that when you do this consistently, your mind won't remember what was the true past. It won't remember, well, did I have this kind of day? No, maybe I had a more positive day than I thought. It starts to not necessarily remember because the somatic connections in the brain that wire together, that fire together, wire together. So the more consistently you remember these, have these memories and these new memories is the more you start to wire that into a part of who you are. Now think about how powerful this is. Imagine something happens where you get rejected and imagine you're able to observe that rejection. Maybe somebody, maybe you asked someone out and they said no. Maybe you're able to observe that rejection and then maybe you're able to rewrite it the way that you would have wanted to see it and the way that you felt about it. You see, then you're sending your subconscious mind a more powerful message. Now, before I get into it, let me just shout out Neville Goddard, who is, uh, was a teacher, early, I think in the early 1900s, and uh, very powerful teachings. The Feeling is the Secret is a book that I talk about a lot, and then this was from one of his lectures that he shared what is called the revision technique, which I'm gonna share with you in a minute. Now, let me also share with you the reason why when you're going to bed at night is the most powerful time that you can possibly reprogram your subconscious mind. Well, that's because when you are going to bed at night, you start to sh shift into the states of consciousness of where the subconscious mind dwells. So we have that of the beta state, which is the more alert state. We have the alpha state, which is the more relaxed state, but still alert. A lot of times when you're watching TV, you're in an alpha state, much more uh, receptive then to different suggestions. And then you have that of the theta state and the theta state is a deeper state of consciousness where we're in more of a meditative state or we're getting ready to fall asleep or about to fall asleep. That's when our mind is the most suggestible. It's in the theta. Each level we go deeper is the level we go to where our subconscious mind is most influenceable. Now think of this as well. When you are born, you're primarily in a theta state which means that as you're growing up, 
especially to about the ages of seven or eight, you're mainly just in this theta state and you are literally absorbing your environment. You may not know it. You may see that your mom treats your dad a certain way, your dad treats your mom a certain way. Somebody tells you, nope, that's bad. You are starting to learn pain and pleasure and you start to make these meanings even at a young age that just absorbs into you because you're in a theta state. Now what happens is you develop a lot of your beliefs when you're young, then you turn into nine, 10, 11 years old and you start to primarily be in an alpha state and then it's a little bit less programmable, but it's still there and you're still absorbing your environment. And then when you start to hit puberty and onwards, you start to exist also in a beta state. And then the theta state that was so easily accessible where your imagination was so strong is all of a sudden not as accessible as, accessible as it used to be. Now, here's the thing. Our subconscious mind is in the theta state. We can hack it by as we fall asleep at night and as we're going to bed by doing these things. And that's why the meditation that I've made for you that you can listen to when you're done watching this video, you can listen to it tonight. Listen to it for 21 days. I think it'll absolutely transform your life. It's the most powerful one I've ever made. I made it last night. It will help you to do that, to reprogram and to see yourself as the version of you that you prefer. And it will help you to also program yourself so that when you wake up in the morning, you have an amazing day the next day. So. That'll be in the top of the description box below, by the way. Now for this process, understand that when you're falling asleep at night, that's when you're going into a theta state. That's when you're more easily programmable and that's where you can then revise your day before. Okay. So Neville Goddard talked about this technique. I've used this technique myself. I've had days where I wake up and there's just kind of things that are a little bit off, you know, and then you go and you know, maybe the video that I'm doing that day isn't flowing as easy. And I find that then yeah, I could go to the gym and I don't have the great workout that I like to have. And then what I do is I go to bed at night and I've used this before. I revise it and see the way that I want it. I revise it. I'm like, you know what? I wake up in the morning. I want to feel really good. I want to feel my heart center. Even as I wake up, I want to remember my dreams when I wake up in the morning. Then when I've taken that cold shower, that gets me ready for my videos. I want to feel just in, like live, like, like so alive when, when I do that. And then when I film my video, I just want to feel this flow state where like this, this energy comes through and I start to feel really dynamic and I have fun. It's not just a video that I do. It's like, I enjoy that video. And then after that, I want to go to the gym and I want to be inspired to do something I haven't done before. And I want to feel like I'm doing this workout for the first time, even though I may have done it many times. And then after that, I want to eat some food and I'm going to maybe watch something, but really just enjoy the food. You see this revision as I'm going to bed at night, then makes it so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm programmed to have an amazing day. And even if some things go, go a little bit off the script in my mind, it still is a much, much better day. This is something you have to try for yourself. And this is something that works so powerfully. I used to also use this technique when I had that nine to five job without even aware that it's called the revision technique. I would remember I'd go to sell women's shoes and I would go in and what would happen is, is if I had a day that where customers weren't buying and my energy just wasn't right, I imagined my day before as if everything went good. And I did that over and over again as I fell asleep and the next day would be amazing. So this is something that really does work. This is something that you can use to prime yourself. So here is what it is. Now, the first step to this is this is as you're falling asleep at night. This is maybe 20 minutes before you go to bed. So the first step to it is review. Now you want to review your day before as you're getting ready to fall asleep. Now when you review, it means observe. Don't necessarily get mentally attached to it. Don't be like, oh, things should have happened this way, but they happened this way. Just observe what has happened with no judgment whatsoever, knowing that you're just looking at different parts of your day. So the first step to this is review. Now the second step is rewrite, revise, rewrite and revise. Now what you do for this is you look at it as the way you would have liked to see it. You look at it from the, uh, from different. So for example, if you went to work and a customer didn't buy and they maybe said something to kind of hurt your feelings or something, you would rewrite it and revise it the way you would have wanted to see it. Rewrite it and revise the way you want to see it. If you went to the gym and didn't have a great workout, imagine you did have a good workout. And now when you do this, here's a little hack as well. Don't view it as if you're watching yourself in a movie. View it as if you're looking through your own eyes. You're looking around. Somebody is, you know, like I would imagine my old job where I was selling women's shoes. I'd imagine me, you know, helping someone, them excited, them ready. Like I would imagine this, this positive energy interaction as if it were actually happening. 
Now that's what you want to do. You want to rewrite and revise it. Now here's the thing as well. The third step is the sleep state where what you want to do is you want to start to relax your body. You want to allow yourself to do this and start to relax. You know, something that I do, like the meditation that you'll see below will help you to do all of these. It'll help you to wire in and manifest while you sleep and listening to it for 21 days. I think you will start to see how your life transforms in a very powerful way. But the third step to this is the sleep state. It doesn't mean you fall asleep. It's where you start to induce a level of relaxation throughout your whole body. For this could be like an affirmation could be like my body starting to feel sinking into the bed. Uh, I do the induction in the meditation below. So I'm trying to think of other ways that you could do it if you don't listen to the meditation, but it would be like imagining that your, your arms are getting heavy and heavier and light and you're feeling very loose and relaxed. And as you do this, you'll start to realize that even though you're visualizing, you're starting to relax your body. It's almost like you're starting to make that vision become more and more real. And I use a little bit of NLP in that meditation to help you make your visualization more bright so that it, you feel like you're more there. So in the same way, you can still do that yourself. What you do is you, you review, rewrite, revise, and then start to drift into the sleep state. And as you drift into the sleep slate, take this to the next, next notch. And what you want to do is you want to revise until real. You want this to be and feel like it is actually real. You want to do it until it starts to take on the nodes of reality. Get down to the details. What I say for this is you're in that sleep state. You know, a lot of these kind of bleed into each other as well. Like review, rewrite and revise. You start to get tired because it's late at night anyways, and then revise until real. And by that, what I mean is feel what it would feel like, the sensations of it. What would you taste? What would you hear? What would you smell? What would the temperature like in the air be? What would you see? What would you hear? You, you bring in all of these senses and it makes it more and more real for you to where you really start to wire this in in a powerful way. Now, the fifth step, ball asleep to it. Fall asleep to it. Now, Fall asleep to it because as you go into bed, that's when it's most programmable with that of the subconscious mind. So you fall asleep to it, that's going to start to wire in in a powerful way. And before you go to bed every night, set the intention. You remember your dreams, you have great sleep, you know you're gonna have an amazing day today. These are all things I do in that meditation that you'll see in the top of the description box below that's brand new. And what it will help you to do is to do this whole process without even thinking. Now the revision technique, now think about this. We get in reality a reflection of what we think, what we feel, and what we do. One day we do something, we go to bed, normally we're going to repackage that and redo that the next day. Now what happens is in order to experience more than that, we must go beyond that which we thought, that which we felt, that which we did. Now that's what Dr. Joe Dispenza talks a lot about. We always get a reality that is equal to our vibration. Our vibration is what we think, what we feel, what we do. When people go to bed at night, normally they're reviewing what was. Therefore, they create more of that. But what we can learn to do instead is to go beyond the, what we have thought, what we have felt, what we have done, and by doing that, using a powerful process like the revision technique, it will totally transform our results because we're going beyond our identity. And that's something else that the meditation that you'll see in the top of the scripture box below does is it helps you to shift your identity. You literally walk into a reality and you know that when you wake up in the morning, that is who you are. You wire that in in a very powerful way. So like I said, that meditation will be in the top of the description box below. Listen to it for 21 days. I really believe it will transform your life. I made it last night. I felt intuitively guided to do so. I added the music. It just, it works really well and I'm excited for you to try it. I'm excited to see the comments of what people say about it. Also, if you want more meditation or if you want more meditations and or that of techniques like this, more of the esoteric kind of hidden techniques that we don't know about, let me know in the comments below and like this video. That'll give me a sign that says, hey, do more videos like this. And uh, also hit the notification bell. It's the only way you can say the, see the daily vids that I do. So with that being said, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you later. Peace, much love, and namaste.